hello from gardening at Dwensa here in Ireland and today we're in the shady end of my greenhouse taking a look at the Cattleya orchids because there's exciting news I have a couple of them in sheath all of the Cattleyas out here in the greenhouse are growing really well and um, putting on new growth but here is one that is producing a sheath look in there now this is a unifoliate uh, cattleya, which means it only gets one leaf at the top of the pseudobulb, not a bifoliate one. Because if this were a bifoliate one, then that growth in there would be the second leaf. But this is a unifoliate one, so I know that's going to be a sheath. Whether it produces a bud or not at the end of the day is a different story, but I think there's a very good chance, because this is CG Rubbling, my favourite orchid, and it's a really good, vigorous one. And um, Danny, Miss Orchid Girl, who recently got a division of this from me, already has hers in, in, in sheath, apparently, so she's ahead of me. The second orchid I want to show you is this one here, the King of Taiwan. And this is one of the orchids that I fe featured in that video about the ones that got away. Orchids that should have flowered but didn't, um, just this season gone. And this orchid had some, um, it had some kind of uh, uh, fungus on it. So I repotted it and gave it a good dose of peroxide, peroxide at the roots. Now I don't normally do this for my orchids at all. I'm a bit wary of doing it, but since this one had a fungal infection, I decided to do it and completely cleaned off the roots. And since then, um, I have lots and lots of new growth springing up all over the plant. I'm just going to point out that some of the pseudobulbs look kind of wrinkled and sad like that one there but um, when I originally got this plant it had just been imported um, from somewhere in the Far East by Schwerther and they mentioned that uh, it had had a bad transit let's just say and those pseudobulbs never plumped up again but the new ones are all doing great and here we have the first sheath of the season. Again, this is a unifoliate uh, cattleya, so um, this growth of the centre doesn't mean a new leaf, it means a flower bud. And the third plant in sheath is newborn child, and there we can see the new sheath. Now, if this flowers for me, this is going to be a first flowering. Um, last year it did produce a sheath but it never produced a bud so that was a bit disappointing but i'm sure this year it just won't let me down and the fourth and final cattleya in sheath for me at the moment is this species one this is mossiae the blue version uh, corolia and this one I also uh, featured in the video, the ones that got away. Actually, I'm going to put a link to that video at the end of this, um, of, of this one so that you can go and check it out if you want to. Now, this is a species orchid that I've grown for a few years. And um, it's small. You can see it's quite small. But that's flowering size for, um, for uh, Mossiae. And, uh, but it's never flowered for me. So this is exciting, exciting news. And if we look in here at uh, the new growth, it's loads of new growths all around. Um, again, this one was repotted after the video. And you can see in there that there's a sheath coming. Now, a unifoliate again, so that's not a second leaf. It's a sheath. Now, of course, that's only the beginning because with mossy eye, uh, the sheaths don't immediately produce uh, buds. They sit for a year, I think. But it's a step in the right direction, and you can't ask for better than that. So that's what I wanted to show you here in the greenhouse at the moment, cattleyas and sheath. Sheath, but before we finish, I thought I'd give a shout out to three exciting new orchid channels here on YouTube. Now, there can never be too many orchid channels, can there? I think all of us just love looking at um, other people's experiences and, and the gorgeous plants that they grow. And the first of these three uh, channels that I want to mention is Antonia Orchids. Now, Diana from that channel is in Colombia in South America. And I want to really 
draw your attention to the two videos she has about a flea market that she visited and bought plants from, bought orchids from. Oh my God, this is just such an amazing video. In fact, the two of them are just such amazing videos. You really have to go and check them out. I'm going to put the link at the very beginning of this video in the details. And the second orchid channel I want to tell you about is one um, started in Finland. So a fellow European orchid channel. And this one is called Orchids and a Duchy. And Andrea uh, owns this channel and it's really just started up but um, she's got some really exciting plants and such a gorgeous seating area at the beginning at the um, sorry on her uh, balcony you really just have to go and check it out real taste of the tropics and the final one I wanted to tell you about is an American one and it's Trax Orchid Channel now I'm going to put the name uh, again in the details at the beginning and he has such a soothing voice. He just injects such a note of calm to proceedings with their great choice of music as well to show off his immaculately kept orchids. So I hope you'll check out these three um, channels and if you, if you find something there to detain you I'm sure you'll subscribe. That's all from me for the moment but thanks very much for watching and bye bye.